guys call me an impulse buyer tell me why i'm going to the supermarket to look how much they're selling a blender and, and i end up getting one i wanted one from jumia but jumia was not giving me what i wanted because i thought they'll have those huge huge offers but it was just be it will be the same same price so i decided to get one So this is the type I got. I didn't want a green one, but anyway, I ended up getting that. So it's a two in one blender comes with a it's, I don't know whether it's called a grinder I mean it was just this big blender so, I honestly love it because uh, Simply Faiza has the same blender and I've used it and I know how it actually is then this uh, a small grinder this one and Oh, you can open this. Wait, you have a funga cabisa. But it's okay. Then the. I don't know how it's going. So that's it. Me, I'm the biggest in pass by, the biggest one. But I wanted a blender this month. I'm going to get a blender. I'll definitely get a blender. So let's just wash it and uh, test it. Hello guys, so now let's start this video officially. The first thing I wanted to do was show you that I bought a blender. That was one of the updates I wanted to give you. I didn't want to leave you outside outside of what is happening. So our first meal, and first of all, if you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified each time we upload a new video. So our first meal is going to be chicken uh and ugali i like my chicken uh let me just call it roasted i'm a dry fried kabisa so i boil it with uh, uh salt uh, i add onions then uh, ginger and garlic and if there is any other spice i want to add i make sure i boil uh the chicken with all that fast because i don't uh cook my chicken I want it like kind of roasted. Let me just call it that. So in, in this part, I'm now adding my onions. And then I know I'll go in. And I'll go in with uh, ginger. You can see ginger and then garlic. So I make sure that the chicken has all the flavor I need. Yeah. I know I have said I don't like soup in my chicken, but I'll just show you where I'll use the tomatoes. So after that, I now let that natural soup in I'll also show you where I'll use the soup and the tomatoes. And then I add a little bit of oil. If the chicken does not have oil, I add kidogo kabisa to just roast it and turn it brown kidogo. When I'm cooking ugali, yeah. So now our chicken is almost ready. You can see some parts of it are turning brown. I don't want to kill a mahali kwe brown, but I'm going to, to brown school mbali. Uh, that's it. So now after that, after the chicken is ready, I now transfer it to a bowl, to a different bowl. Then...
Then I've, I also transfer the cooking oil because at Haribu Mafuta this season. So now, this is a uh, chakula imebaki. This is how I make my sauce because my chicken is kind of roasted. So I add my tomatoes at this stage. I let them cook. I let them simmer. Kabisa zinatua yu utamuyote. Then I now add the chicken broth which you had seen before turns out to be the best the best sauce let me just call it sauce and it's so so yummy so there we have our first meal of gali and roasted chicken day two so guys for today's supper we're going to have rice and beans and if you have been following me on Instagram, you know that Nilanza could change Maharago. So I swapped them since like, was it 11 in the morning? So I just want to, and I have a jiko. So I just want to kuwash a jiko. Then uh, I'll not put them on. It's around 5 in the evening. So I think by, by let's give them added 6.30, they'll be ready because in Mezisok and they're ready as in Dave and Bio. So I try to wash a jiko, then boil them. Ningoji had it even. So now at this moment, uh, our rice is almost ready. Then now I'm I'm uh, frying uh, the beans. These are onions for the beans. And then uh, definitely we'll use tomatoes. My ingredients will be tomatoes, onions, and royco cubes. Very very simple. So now the beans are ready. So I'm transferring them to a, to a bowl. Hey, that is me. I'm so much. I as in I f I feel so satisfied when I transfer something from this bowl, I'm a bowl rather than the sufri and you may boil to what I'm cooking in. For day three, we are, we are having eggs, uh, kales for those who are not from Kenya, amaskuma wiki, then uh, ugali. So I normally cook four eggs in this house. Four are enough. Very, very much enough. So the first thing is I make the ingredients, onions, tomatoes. That is what I use for my, my eggs. 
onions tomatoes and rico cubes if, if there is any other spice i'm not a fan of spices if you have been watching me you should have noticed that i'm not a fan of spices i like my food very very minimal in terms of spices if it's spices it's maybe either coriander or one spice like let's say for example uh cumin as in only one spice so uh, apart from coriander mm, ginger and garlic i usually make sure that my food has ginger and garlic and roiko cubes i think that is enough for me for my food and honestly it tastes good so now these are the onion i'm going to use this pan to cook my onion my eggs sorry so this is onions for my eggs i prefer them not being like a cube shaped for the onions that is how i cut them rather than the circle ones the long ones that is what i prefer for the eggs so now what i do is i beat the eggs in a different bowl because i usually mix the eggs with a little bit of salt then one roiko cube before i use two so i use one kwa eggs and the other one nikeka tomatoes at this moment the kitchen looked so so dirty so i had to clean it up for me to continue with everything so after i have done finished i have finished uh, cleaning the kitchen tomatoes are ready and then get the tomatoes i think uh, i did that behind the camera so now i'm adding in the eggs na koroga ndio zi as in zi mix kabisa then now i funika and i put it at a very low heat that is onions for the skuma wiki so now after that imeiva so now i just boil ndio ikue kama like somehow crumbled so now that is uh this uh, excuse me the exposure was too much uh right here so kama ita karibu macho i'm very very sorry for that so we're now cooking our skuma wiki because we're having ugali skuma wiki and uh and eggs then kama kawaida rico cubes uh is one thing which never lacks in my food then uh, uh ugali pia after that nilitoa mayai then that now ugali so today's meal uh skuma wiki that is ready and uh, eggs it is ready i think i did a mistake i should have cooked uh, the eggs kama za mwisho but anyway we still had our meal at and we are satisfied so for today we are going to make a uh, pilau so our ingredients are uh, this boiled meat pre-boiled meat this is the soup then we have ginger and garlic right there that is ginger and garlic then we have cumin and pilau masala i mixed them that's me then we have onions a lot of onions then we have uh tomatoes and this is uh coriander but i'm not going to use coriander like, co hey, coriander right now one i'll make a chumbari with the coriander and the next one is for garnishing so yeah that's it so we are still going to use this same sufuria i have used to boil uh my meat to cook up below
after that uh, i now add the do we call it a broth amani soup to you this is beef uh, to the rice and one thing you have noticed is nimefunika kwanza rice to let it uh consume let's say consume i'm gonna get all the flavors which i have used so i do that then now add the soup for the beef i had cooked i had pre-cooked before because i prefer using that rather than using uh water water is will make it will not make it so tasty but anyway people have different ways of cooking so now with no time our food was ready and we had avocado uh i also made a kachumbari behind the scenes behind the cameras not behind the scenes sorry behind the cameras and one thing i'm not a fan of blau and honestly i decided to just make this one because it has been a long long time since i lastly made pilau in this house so but just breaking the monotony of us having one the normal meals we are used to in the house Day five, which is our last day, and if you also follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm um, that one person who makes sure that I cook chapati in one of the days, as in once per week, I make sure that I include chapati in all my meals. So, so for our beans stew uh, today, we have uh, tomatoes, we have this is red onions and ginger and garlic, then we have coriander and two roiko cubes. I use the same exact sufuria I used to boil uh, the beans to make the stew. So the stew is ready. I didn't want to give to keep on giving you the recipe because I did it, this in one of the videos I did for the five meals I eat for dinner. So now chapati, tumeanza pia kupika chapati. That is my setup because we are using the jiko. I can need to upgrade when it comes to this pan. Then voila, we now have our meal that is chapati and beans. So guys, thank you very much for watching till the end and if you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe. See you in my next video.